Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. It's upgrade time. It's been a few months since Xtool released their S1 40 watt laser engraver. I recently went back to it wanting to work on a project that required the rotary attachment, but quickly ran into a problem. The rotary attachment doesn't fit in the standard S1. However, Xtool does have a solution for that, the S1 riser base. This raises the laser off of the surface, allowing you to work with much thicker materials and use accessories like the rotary attachments. So let's get the riser base installed and also take a look at all of the improvements to Xtool software since my original video. The riser base arrives nicely packaged with only a little bit of assembly required. The four sides screw together. You can see while I'm assembling it that the front and the back have magnetic hinged doors, allowing you to open up the pass-through mode. This allows you to work with longer materials, you can slide any length of material through the laser. This also is what allows it to work with the automatic conveyor accessory that would feed the material through automatically. We'll talk more about these doors in a bit, but first let's finish assembly. Next you unscrew and remove the original floor of the S1. With some help from Mrs. Hoffman Engineering, we lifted the S1 up and placed the riser base underneath. A few more screws are are used to attach the laser to the base. The final step is to attach the self-adhesive strips to the doors. This is the main problem with the riser base. Since the doors open, there needs to be enough clearance between the doors and the frame to allow it to swing open. This leaves a gap where smoke, fumes, and yes, laser light can exit the front and the back of the laser. Xtool provides these foam strips to help seal the doors, but they do not fully seal. Light can still easily shine through, as we can see here. Their website and manual is clear though, that by using the S1 riser base, the laser no longer conforms to the Class 1 laser laser safety certification. So always wear safety glasses when using the laser with a base installed. You are no longer safe with just the enclosure. We can then place the original floor of the S1 into one of the four shelves on the riser base, giving you the freedom to raise or lower the bed depending on the thickness of the material you are working with. The top slot is basically the same as the original floor. Here are the thicknesses of materials that each slot can work with. The floor doesn't screw in, it just rests on the shelf. It also means that the bottom of the laser is now completely open, which is another point where smoke or laser light could possibly exit depending on what surface your laser is sitting on. And that is assembly completes. By adding in the riser base, we have increased the maximum material thickness from just 42 millimeters to a whopping 133.5 millimeters, or a 91.5 millimeter increase. This gives plenty of room for thick materials and even allows the rotary attachment to be used. A quick test of the laser shows that the laser does still work, but as we saw before, those doors do allow reflected light to shine through. Be very cautious of that and always wear eye protection. While we're here, let me show you my new favorite feature of the S1. In my original video, I highlighted the area marking mode inside of Xtool Creative Space. This tool allows you to move the laser to the corners of your material and mark them in the software. That formed a box in the software that lets you more easily place your designs where you want them to be. That was awesome then, but they have made that feature a million times better. Instead of only rectangles, you can now easily mark circles, lines, and even any polygon. This is a game changer. I hate wasting materials, and I want to use as much scrap as I can. With the polygon mode, I can put the material in the laser and effectively trace the outline of all of the usable areas by just moving the laser and pressing the button. At the end, I have the shape of all of the usable material, and I can very easily place the shapes that I want to cut inside of it. See how easily I was able to place these circles? Very convenient. And say I have these four wooden coasters that I wanted to engrave. Instead of manually having to align them or make a jig, I can just throw them into the laser. I can then use the circle marking tool to add all of the outlines into the Xtool creative space. Those circles also act as guides. You can see that my text snaps to the middle of all of the circles. And then I can engrave them and they are perfectly in the center of the discs. No measuring, no aligning, just a few seconds to move the laser to trace the circles. This tool is awesome. It is a very easy workflow that makes using this laser much more efficient. So thank you all for joining me in exploring the riser base and some of the software upgrades that the Xtool S1 has received over the last couple of months. They are still releasing new firmware and software upgrades. I'm very pleased with the development of this laser. Xtool also released a 10 watt version of the S1 if you wanted a lower cost version with all of the same features and accessories. This means that they have a 10 watt, 20 watt, and 40 watt versions available. If you are interested in this laser, you can check out my full review of the Xtool S1 here. I go into details about all of the features that this premium laser provides. I think you'll enjoy it. And thank you all for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some larger materials to engrave.